Um, so Disney's Aladdin. Yes. Screw Disney's Aladdin. It took me quite a long time to reach this conclusion, but I arrived it and I am here. Screw Disney's Aladdin. Screw it and let me tell you why, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, so here's my problem with Disney's Aladdin. Aladdin meets the genie, voiced by Robin Williams. And we haven't even gotten to my main beef with the movie, but here's a here's a, a handy side dish of beef. I yeah. have no doubt, I have no doubt that Robin Williams is the genie. That is the birthplace of the trend of every goddamn kids movie replacing talented professional voice actors with celebrities and goddamn comedians. And that pisses me the hell off. Okay. Mm, I don't it's, know, man. You always Disney always had huge I, celebrity just, voices. It's just Are you you're you're doing a movie for kids. You don't need Steven Tyler. Yeah, no, you don't. You know, like, wait a second. Like, Rihanna is starring in this? You don't need Rihanna. As if Steven Tyler is not really annoying enough. Yeah. Like, like there are professionals. So hiring Kevin James isn't doing anything for your for your kids movie. Kids uh, are uh, I'm oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm I I just got a side sideline on Aerosmith, man, because I used to fucking love Aerosmith. I used, I used to. And back in the it, day. It is so well, but very differently because Aerosmith was a really hard driving rock band. Oh yeah, when they got clean, they lost it. Yeah, like can, can't we can we start a Kickstarter for drugs for Aerosmith? Like so we Aerosmith can get some good fucking music. Band, and then they did that song with Run DMC and like okay, from here on out it, when they jumped, things are they jumped the shark. They definitely yeah. jumped the shark with the Run DMC yeah. song. Yeah. 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 Yeah, from this point on, okay, things are going to be really yeah, they 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 just chased fame and celebrity and pop instead of like making really good music. When Permanent Vacation came out, I was probably the only person in the country saying, "What the fuck?" I I I hate so much of their music. I hate Dude Looks Like a Lady. I've always hated that. Mm -hmm. Uh Love in an Elevator, hate that. And that mm -hmm. one song where they're talking about pussy, but they're not going to say pussy. Yeah. So the song is called, like, Pink. Something like that. Like, pink is the color of love. And, like, I just say pussy. Can you just say pussy? <laughs> like, we get it, okay? Wink, wink, nod, nod. Your song is called Pink. Like, we get it, okay? Mm -hmm. Pink is the color of the vagina. I, I think the only redeeming thing that that had is is I do appreciate Steve Tyler's "Cry Me a River." Steve I must Tyler's say, and I and I think that was permanent vacation. I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah, I, there's one sad song that he does that I like. Is yeah. it "Crying"? I think it's "Crying." I I I think that's the song. The one the one modern song of theirs that. I, of his that I like. Yeah. Everything else. Oh, and eat the rich. Everything else can rot in hell. Well, I could swear he did walking in the sand and he also did cry me a river. And don't mess with me with cry me a river. Cry me a river is one of my, my okay. all time favorite songs. So I, okay. I could tell you about the, the, the Patsy Cline version, the crystal Gale version and Steven Tyler's version was up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right with that. So anyway, Robin Williams is the man to blame for all of these fucking celebrities being in these kids' movies. Specifically, Steven Tyler played some mystical shaman in the animated movie Epic. And it's like, no, there's no reason for Steven Tyler to be in this fucking film. There's no kids going, oh, Steven Tyler is in this. Wow. Yeah. Okay. He did the song from Armageddon. No, he, there's no fucking point in these celebrities being in these goddamn movies, and Robin fucking Williams is to blame. But that's not my main issue with the film. My main issue about Aladdin is has to do with Aladdin's first wish, okay? 
Yes. In order to woo Princess Jasmine, Aladdin wishes to be a prince. So what does the genie do? He makes Aladdin look like a prince. Yes. That's all he does. The goddamn genie starts to work on what? His looks, his outfit, his ride. We're going to make some fake followers. We're going to make a fake parade and yada, yada, yada. The genie is, has godlike powers. Yes. The genie has phenomenal cosmic powers of a freaking god. The genie could have created an actual land for him to rule over. Mm -hmm. Or hell, he could have just put Aladdin in an actual kingdom as the prince. The point is, the genie could have easily actually made him a prince. Yes. But he doesn't. He just mm -hmm. makes him look like a prince. Yes. Why does the genie do this? Well, one can only assume that maybe the genie spent too much of the 70s and 80s snorting white powder <laughs> in the back of a laugh factory. Yes. That's, that's what I'm assuming there. I so think, I think that is a solid, solid theory. Yeah. How does, that's, feel? How does what feel? that a male character is given looks and clothes and all these riches to make them more appealing to the opposite sex. How's that feel? You hate it, don't you? Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> preach it, girl. Preach it. Let's hear it. Tumblr made you a gender warrior. <laughs> Nothing. I love you. Tumblr made her a gender warrior. I I I can't relate to swarthy, good-looking men in fezes, especially when they're animated. So, yeah, we don't have a one-to-one -one rela ratio here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my problem with Aladdin. That's my problem with Aladdin. The, the genie is a fucking god, but he just makes a fake nation for Aladdin to be a prince of. Dude, you have you, you are a god. Just make him a fucking prince. Well, I think Aladdin blew it right off the bat because we all know your first wish is infinite wishes. Yeah. Yeah. We all know that. Yes. No, we all do know that. Mm-hmm. 